But on judgment day, there are people holding their book in their right hand. And people that fail are holding their book in their left hand behind their back. It's in his back and it's, behind, it's on his left hand. So left hand means it's bad. Behind his bad, back means I don't even know how bad. Because <laughs> I can't even see. Behind my back. You know. But he goes and he rubs it in their face. Inni wanantu anni mulaqin hisabiya. This is the yes moment when you get your report card. You get a good report card, you say, I knew it! Mm. Yes! Oh, yeah. This guy says, I was so sure, inni dhanantu, I was completely convinced, anni mulaqin hisabiya, that I'm gonna meet, I'm absolutely going to meet my, my accounting, meaning my accounts are gonna be solid. I'm gonna meet the rewards. I knew it, I knew it, yes! He's like cheering himself. Now the thing is, we saw in Surah Al-Tahreem, three surahs ago, we saw people that are that have light, light coming out of their chest and in their right hand, and they're walking. And are they fully confident or nervous? Do you remember? They're nervous. رَبَّنَا أَتْمِمْ لَنَا نُورَنَا وَأَخْفِرْ لَنَا Allah, complete our light, let us through. But then a moment comes, and then you know, Jannah's gates are right there. The book's been handed. You're okay now. And he goes, I knew it. Ah, oh, it was gonna be awesome. But you know what? That, that, you know how they say in, in modern literature and poetry, they say things like, you know, the, the time is gone. Those, those days are gone. They're all just a fading memory now. But to Allah, those days, the ones that are gone for you, are eternal for Allah Azza wa Jal. He recorded your deeds in those days, and those are the fruits you're eating now. وَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوتِيَا كِتَابَهُ بِشِمَالِهِ And as for the one, whoever he was, handed his book in his left, فَيَقُولُ Then he says, يَا لَيْتَنِي لَمْ أُوتَ كِتَابِيَا Oh, come on! No, 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 no! If only I wasn't given this my, my book! Please don't hand it to me, please don't hand it to me! Why do I have this book in my hand? This guy is regretting getting his book in his... He's, we're not even talking about punishment yet. We're not talking about punishment. We're just talking about getting the book in his possession. I wish I wasn't given this book. وَلَمْ أَدْرِي مَا حِسَابِيَا I wish I never knew. I had no clue what account I'm going to have. Because now he has some clue what's coming. يَا لَيْتَهَا كَانَتِ الْقَاضِيَا Oh, if only... If only the great... The death itself, الْمَوْتَةَ الْأُولَى The first death... If only that was the end of it all. I wish that I died and never came back to life. My wealth, maliyah. This again, the high is extra. My wealth did nothing for me here. Gave me no benefits here. I can't pay any fines and get out of the ticket. I can't pay off any guards in, hell, in hellfire and get out. None of my wealth came to any aid of me. And the other ma could be, what good was my wealth? How did it benefit me? Halaka anni sultania. My great authority. So this person is not just wealthy, he's powerful. All the power I had, all the status I had, has been ripped away from me. And I want to explain to you that actually the verb expected in this ayah was ذَهَبَ anni sultania. My authority has been removed from me. ذَهَبَ anni. But Allah uses the word halaka anni. It's not just removed, it's killed, it's taken, it's torn away. None of it is left. Something that's removed can be recovered. Something that's halak can't be recovered. Khuduhu fahulluhu. Take a hold of him. Grab him. And chain him up. Ghulluhu. Put a lock on his neck. Put those fetters on his neck. You know, back in the day, if you've seen any images or heard stories about how slaves were kept, with those collars around their neck. Ghulluhu. You know, they say, غُلَّ فُلَانٌ فِي كَذَا يعني دَخَلَ فِيهِ وَأَدْخَلَهُ مِنْهُ وَالْغَلْ هُوَ الْقَيْدِ Put him in the prison. غَلْ also means قَيْد, prison. And he's thrown inside. ثُمَّ الْجَحِيمَ Then after that, into Jahim, the roaring fire. صَلُّوهُ Throw him in. ثُمَّ فِي سِلْسِلَةٍ 
Then after he's thrown in, he's got this, this feather on his neck, this collar on his neck, put, put a chain on it. ذَرْعُهَا سَبْعُونَ ذِرَاعًا Whose links are 70 links long. He's been thrown from above. So where's the chain coming from? From above. And he's hanging by this chain in the fire. فَسْلُكُوهُ Then keep him tied and keep him connected. إِنَّهُ كَانَ لَا يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ الْعَظِيمِ He was the one who didn't believe in the great Allah. Allah Al-Azim, the great God, the great Allah. وَلَا يَحُضُّ عَلَى طَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ And didn't encourage even feeding of the poor. Forget feeding the poor himself. He didn't never even encourage anybody else to do it. He didn't even incline anybody else to do it. You see, already we learned that he was a person of wealth and power. That's already been suggested. So what does that mean? People in wealth and power, both of those things come with responsibility. On the one hand, you're supposed to have even more iman than other people because Allah has given you more than other people. You should be more grateful than other people. But you're so obsessed with your own greatness. What about Allah al Azim? On the other hand, because Allah has given you more, you should be giving more. You should be taking care of those who can't help themselves. Al Miskeen. Forget giving, you didn't even encourage giving. I've talked about this before. What does La Yahudu ala ta'am al Miskeen suggest as a social phenomenon? You don't want to encourage other people to give because when you encourage other people to give, the question will rise among the people, what have you given? What have you given? And then if the finger points at you, then we're like, oh yeah, I don't want to give. So let me not talk about it. So we'll have a gentleman's agreement. I won't speak about this. And so you don't ask me and I'll, I won't ask you. And why would he be the one speaking about it? Because he has wealth and power. So obviously he's a public figure. Allah says, فَلَيْسَ لَهُ الْيَوْمَ هَا there's nobody out here today. For him over here, there's nobody that's a close friend to him. لَيْسَ لَهُ الْيَوْمَ هَا هُنَا حَمِيمٌ وَلَا طَعَامٌ إِلَّا مِنْ غِسْلِينَ And there's no food for him either. Except غسلين. What's غَسَلَ? Mm. غَسَلَ is to wash. Anybody here ever do the dishes? If you do the dishes, and there's a lot of them, then and you don't, you know, you put that thing in the sink, so that the stuff doesn't go into the sink and clog the sink. When you're done doing the dishes, not the dishwasher, I'm talking about the dishes dishes, when you do the dishes, then you're all done, you remove the dishes, and what's left at the bottom? That gunk, that you look at and go, Bleh! that gunk, that's ghislin. Ghislin is the leftover after washing. Either food, or clothes, the, you know, the, the, the dirty water left after wa- clothes are washed. So, you know, mother's cleaning the filthy clothes of her children. And the, the, the dirty water is going into a bucket, that's ghislin. The leftovers from the wash. That's his food. وَلَا طَعَامٌ إِلَّا مِنْ ghislin. لَا يَأْكُلُهُ إِلَّا الْخَاطِئُونَ Nobody's going to be eating this except people that made the grave mis- the people of grave mistakes. خَاطِئُونَ The mistake makers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.